registered mail in a year and a half and it's just piling up because well to be honest when I was building the workshop I got some packages and I just realized like my, my mind is on the workshop I can't really focus on these packages and so I just boxed the packages back up and then I stored them in the loft and then I kept doing that and then I had this house restoring with Bill and even some of Bill's packages before I even moved here are here and um, I'm gonna split this because some of this is actually going to be an inbox video just for the lathe and then this video is just gonna be like the other miscellaneous stuff like miscellaneous books and laser discs and cool tools and letters let's start with the letters and now my hair is not dirty it's it's wet because i just took a shower people are like oh your hair is so greasy it's like it's wet well, anyway i guess you know you know what some of these are just like correspondence with bill because over that time we were pin pal and it's just like normal conversations that like we have now so it's not really that interesting but yeah bill would just send me like three page letters and I'd respond with typewriter and stuff like that. Then we switched to email and that's when I hatched the plan for him to move down here and we can start a company together. May 29th, 2019. We're now a super YouTuber. First off, sorry about the shitty paper as I don't normally write letters, lol. Bro, I think we share the same birthday. Mine is May 19th, 1992. I'm guessing yours is May 19th, 1993. Correct. I'm from Bradenton, Florida, and I've been watching your channel for about six or seven years now since you first started messing with 18650s for electric bicycles. That's a quite a long time ago. Feel free to read this on the vlog, aka a shout out, and it'll write me back. Well, I'll go with the, lo the vlog option, but like six months or eight months too late. Thank you for all the great videos, my long distance buddy. The shop looks great. Thanks again, sincerely, Nathan. Thank you very much. Now this is actually, I was going to send him something a long time ago. So this is December 20th, 20, uh, 2018, uh, Jonathan Harchick, he's the guy that has uh, John Drinks Water. It's him and his, uh, him and his girl. They, uh, I think they're married. I'm not sure. From Jonathan and Caitlin, just like a nice little... New Year's, like, uh, hey, Renault, I just wanted to write you and wish you a happy holiday season and joy-filled new year. I predict your channel will grow a lot this year, and by the end of 2019, you'll have a gold play button. You always have such interesting and entertaining videos. I didn't quite get the gold play button. Barely still working on the silver play button, but oh well. I'm not sure why, but the 15 by 20 workshop build is my favorite series on YouTube right now. Sometimes I see a new upload and at like 3 a.m., and I should be going to sleep, but instead... Stay up and watch every second of it. I'm glad you finished the outside before we got too far into winter. From Jonathan and Caitlin, aka Moldy Toaster or John Drinks Water. Go subscribe to his channel and stay hydrated. I like I I, I just love because like Jonathan Harchick, he has a fucking great sense of humor. He's the guy that a while ago, if I remember right, he sent me just like the cheapest shit you can get on Amazon, and so just a box full of like half penny items. I don't know how I found them, but they're great. In this year, he sent me a, a um, Peanuts card. And it's more simple. Hey, Renoa, have a... forgetting to breathe. Oh, my God. Hey, Renoa, have a happy Merry Christmas. Or, hey, Renoa, have a happy Christmas and a Merry New Year. Jonathan. Thank you very much. So I need to send him water, like possibly some nice well water. Not oh, nice, <laughs> or just maybe some local water, because like his entire channel is just about drinking water. So he does a video of drinking water. It's it's funny, but it's it's actually growing. Now, the last random package with the letter is um from my friend Julian. His channel is called Julian's Random Projects, and I believe he is modifying a car to be electric. Was it like an MG Midget or something? 
Renella, I saw these and thought of you. Both your interest in anime and your epic search for laser rod, disc rod. While well, I doubt you'll find any rot in these, I trust you'll enjoy them. Thanks for teaching me about ubi strips and unique Japanese imports. Hope to see you again, Julian. Now, Julian's actually someone that I knew, like, because, you know, if two YouTubers live in the same area, it's like, well, we gotta, we gotta meet each other. So, these. Now, this is a, a record case that I got somewhere else, but they fit so perfectly, I decided to take them out of the, the cardboard box and put them into here. So, we got that. You found these at a record shop. So these are all Japanese import laser discs. So those are pretty cool. And they smell. You know this um this thing smells like old film, so it might not be a good case to keep them in, but I don't know. It's like a vinegar syndrome smell. A lot of this um JADSF80 whatever it is. Oh yeah, Video Girl I. That's an odd show. And then... So this one actually has an Obi strip with it. And so that is um, kind of a collector's item. It's a, a strip. That's for identification. And those are usually collectible. So that's it for that. But, since this was in storage, we're just like, you know, on my, my bedroom floor. He sent yet more laser discs. I will say, one of the packages that I did open, and I, I didn't put back because I started using it, was um, a package from Thermionic Man. He sent me just right before I went to visit him for a month. And he, he gave me that really nice new saw that I'm using on Bill's house. And this rasp. Saw rasp. This is, these are from um, what, Woodpecker Tools or something. But this is a nice thing for eating away a lot of wood at a time. I think you can flip it over. Yeah, you can. It's actually like thick and fine. So you can have the different sides. I plan to do an entire video just of this later on. You can cover that in a spare blade. But yeah, definitely subscribe to John, John Drinks Water, and then definitely subscribe to Julian's Random Projects if you like homemade electric vehicles and other weird stuff that he does. <laughs> the reason I'm finally doing this now is because I have a rocket engine video I need to do, and I need this desk so I can film a rocket engine video. All oh, this stuff's just been piling up. Oh my god. I think he was trying to sell them on eBay and they just wouldn't sell. So he was like, fuck it, I'll just give these ones to. <laughs> Which I do not mind. Next time I'm out in the Bay Area, I'll be sure to get him something. Maybe take him out to eat or something. Seed. Look at that. It's a that's a little secret. Well, Twenty-five dollar gift card. Well, thank you very much. I'll keep that. It's been there for buying tools. Blue seed. Look at that. Yeah, so these are import from Japan as well. Because you can find pretty much everything out in California. My laser disc collection's like going insane. Oh, they all have the Obi strips too. Look at that. The Obi strips, because those get lost so easily. Well, me and Bill are going to be hooking up my 1998 big screen television rear projection. And we're going to be hooking up those kick-ass laserdisc players that 
their mounting man gave me. And which is funny, whenever I was over at his house for a month, we went through his stuff and we found the remote control to one of them. So I took that too. So now I have the remote control for him. And uh, yeah, this is gonna be really fun. Thank you very much, Julian Random Projects. And I should definitely send you something because you've treated me to so much. You know what? There's a few packages that I have that I started using. Like someone sent me some of these gloves and I was like, I don't need more gloves. I have plenty of gloves. But then they were like, well, post-apocalyptic inventor likes them. And I'm like, fine, I'll try them. But it's funny, me and post-apocalyptic inventor just started talking again. You know, you just, you're friends and you just don't talk for the longest time. And I was like, hey, I haven't watched your videos in a long time either. And, he, and he's like, haven't watched your videos in a long time either too. So I, you know, you try to be nice and watch a few videos just to keep up with where they are. But I don't even have time to watch my own videos. I haven't watched any of my videos in like months. Well, I can't recall what I was saying because camera battery died and evidently Canon G7X you can't charge over USB. That's fucking stupid. So I had to have Bill get me, drive me spare batteries across town. So, all right, gloves. Um, I like them, so they're good. But people have sent me several things. Someone sent me a flashlight, which I've actually been using quite a quite a bit, but they didn't include any note or anything, so I just started using it. And then uh, somebody sent this letters from a stoic, from Seneca. It's an ancient book. Well, this one's like from, this one's new, but I'll definitely read that. So thank you. I love this old stuff. All right, Mark Phillips. All right, okay, yeah. Renella, for your workshop, new old stock, surprisingly still to electrical code in most places. Have fun, Mark Phillips. Mark Phillips, now that, is that the guy that, he sent me stuff before, I think. Is that like the, the guy that works on the pools or something? I don't know, either way, he sent me two boxes. This one is just a bag full of cool fuses. So, and oh, I shouldn't, you shouldn't send me these, but I love them because I have so many fuses as it is. And I just, I love collecting these because they're just, they're just so cool, you know? This big, big mess, which is a power box. New old stock. Oh, I put it upside down. Look at that. Power craft wards. Oh, oh, oh. oh my God. I haven't seen this part yet. Oh, I'll definitely have a use for those then. Because they go with this. Oh, it's so beautiful. I love it. Oh, let's put them together. Yes. Yes. This is like a Christmas gift. Oh my God. Okay, okay. Pretty sure they still make these, right? So then that goes. Like so. Oh. Then we have that one. Oh, these are brand new. They have like that machinist oil smell to them. Those are a tight fit. Oh my god, that's some good connection there. Oh, oh. 
No, I guess it is that way. It's for the range. Water heater. Oh. Oh. That one is really on there. Oh, look at that. They're the smaller ones. So that's that's a pretty old grease. So that's I guess contact grease. Oh no no. This is pretty cool. So you know those might be for storage actually, because according to the wiring. I don't really do much. So that is just like in pristine condition. I love it. It's so cool. I love it. And the smell of that grease. That's very it's a very vintage smell. Thank you very much for this. This is cool. There's plenty of outputs. All the punches that you could punch out if you needed. Thank you very much for that. I'm going to keep that in the box and I'm going to go store that safely and then whenever we start to do power in the workshop or if we get a house or we're restoring or something. Well, I want one in the house and they're just restoring. I'll, um, Cause that, that, this has got to be somewhere to see, like nice and displayed. Because that's cool. Now this comes from Eric Smith. And um, sent last year. Renoa. Here are some junk parts that came from out of a dental x-ray machine controller. I didn't need them anymore, so I decided to ship them to you. Also, I had a few old books on electronics and another radioactive radium clock I didn't need, so I just threw them in as well. Enjoy. So this is a um, person that sent me, I believe, uh, Variac and several other things in a previous video. Transistor circuit analysis. Now that is nice and vintage. 1961. That's cool. That's definitely going to go into the library. Electrical Engineering Fundamentals, same collection, London, England, 1961. Okay, those are, like the laser discs, those are going inside. It's, um, you know, I'm always paranoid because, like, I always wonder if there's going to be something inside of these or something, but I guess I can, I'll, I'll look through these and I'll, oh, like that, I'll look through these before I burn the paper. Oh. oh, it's funny enough, I actually have, I have an x-ray machine outside that we're going to be doing a teardown on, so there's going to be a lot of fun x-ray machine stuff that we can do stuff with. I got it from scrap. That's cool. Oh, there's some big ass switches. I like. Oh, I'm gonna. Oh, I have to use that for the rocket project. That's for the rocket project right there. And we get another one. Oh my god. Look at that. It's so good. It's a, an adjustable thing of some sort. Well, a potentiometer, but it looks like it actually has. Yeah, it's weird. Oh no, no, it's just a, t a turning screw. So never mind that. That bolt is just for fastening it to something. That's cool. It's for just tuning something. That's cool though. Some of those chips. I imagine this is probably like a little microprocessor in here. But these are all TC4071BPs. 
And then an NEC uh, Mu PC 32-4C. Hey, a little button somewhere. Oh, switch. Oh, oh. Push button. Oh, I see. Oh, weird. Oh, weird. Those are like tube connectors. Do they go to the x-ray tube or... Because that would be like high voltage. And the power cables are coming out the bottom. Actually, I'm not, I don't have more patience. God, that's cool. I bet Thermionic Man's gonna fight me for this one. <laughs> Not sure if it works, but oh well. I love the Art Deco design of it. That's so cool. <laughs> Thank you very much for this, Eric. Um, I imagine this probably had plastic over it, so I wonder if I can make something to, to work with that, to go over it. But for now, it just looks great like it is. And the books and the whatever the hell these are. That's cool. Now, I don't necessarily have a use for all this stuff just yet, but, you know, if you ever send me anything, there's a good chance that it'll just, it'll be sifted into my inventory and then eventually it'll be used. And oh, this is from uh, Tesla 500 back in uh, 2014. That is not a new package. That's some old, oh, I was going to move in here because we're going to, I was going to finally remove the air from that tube. Renoa. Dear Renoa, sorry, sorry, sorry for the four. Dear Renoa, sorry for the several month de delay. Here are the lawnmower sharpeners I promised. I hope all the parts are here and that you can figure out how to use them. Ian, cap one zero three two three. Has a YouTube channel, so check him out. Cap one zero three two three. And these. We already spent some time, me and uh, Thermionic Man, spent some time looking at this and looking at how it should probably work. And then that. Easy Mower Sharpener Cleveland. All right. This. I forgot about that. So I've been using this a lot and it is a heat powered fan. That's not part of the thing. That's part of a dumpster find. That's my stuff. Oh my god, it, I forgot about this. Furnace cement and fireplace mortar. That's cool. Stove thermometer. I didn't realize I got that. Okay, that's cool. And then flash tape. Self-adhesive, easy to apply, sticks to most clean and dry surfaces. Butyl safety tape. Uh, butyl sa sealant tape, sorry. That is actually pretty cool. Now, I haven't fueled the stove in a while, so it's starting to slow down. But yeah, it's, it's a little fan with a Peltier cooler, Peltier cooler, whatever you want to call it. And so that temperature difference from the hot to the cold from the heat sink creates a voltage which powers the fan. Now uh, a gift for you. Hey Ren, just a few things you might find useful around the workshop. Great job with the building and the video production. Thank you very much and 
you know, honestly, I use that as a, a measurement of if this thing's even running anymore. Because, you know, like if you have a little thermometer, it's hard to look across the room. But if you have a little fan, if the fan's running, then you know it's going nice and hot. So that's pretty cool. Thank you very much for this fan and all the little goodies. You know, I just thought if I have to power drill to this fan and spun it, it would actually power the Peltier cooler and create a, a temperature difference. That's, I like when things go like both ways. You know, it's kind of neat that you can actually convert energy the other way. Turn it to a heat pump. These are what will be for the, the lathe video because those are some nice, uh, all right. Yeah, these are some nice stuff for machining, so I'll definitely have to make these their own video and we can make a nice toolbox to hold all those. But this is from some weirdo named Bill from Wisconsin. I don't know, what a loser. I'd, I'd definitely never restore a house with them, that's for sure. But he sent me a little, oh yeah, a little uh, USB microscope. Kind of cool. Renoa. Oh dear God. Another one of those long ones. I forgot we were so wordy. <laughs> Hi Renoa. I was digging around today and I found some things I thought you might be interested in. So I'm making up a little package for you. I came across a small electric motor and I've had it for so long I can't remember why I even got it. Maybe you can use it for some future project. Then I have this old computer microscope. I think I may have mentioned this before. It's not like a pro, pro device or anything. Just something for fun. Let's see, I also found some old Saturday evening posts from 1933. They're fine. They're, they're kind of beat up, but being so old makes them kind of cool. They might be good for the antique shop. Because I know you like the older Polaroid cameras, I had one of the same kind myself. I found a couple of the things you might really like. See, back when I had my camera, I was really interested in the image transfers you can do with that type of film. It's actually, it's a tricky process, but it's really cool. It makes your pictures look like paintings. I tried it several times, and I only got it to work once. It's not perfect, but it's still really cool. It's a picture of a tree outside of an apartment I used to live at, and I want you to have it. In this package of stuff, you'll find a big yellow envelope with Polaroid Corporation on the outside. Inside is an old instructional booklet on how to make better Polaroid color pictures. And a book on doing image transfers. I'll put the picture of the tree I did inside the front cover. I've also included... I feel like I'm reading like a like Back to the Future note. Some. I don't know what you call it. Card stock. I thought if you do try the image transfers, it might make for a good substrate to put it on. When I did mine, I just used a plain piece of paper. I'll scoop past this. I found some stuff on jet engines, which is kind of cool. I always wanted to build my own jet engine. I even got some plans on one. Turned out to be a little more complex than I had first thought. But the plans themselves are pretty cool. You'll find those in there and with some other jet engine stuff. So now for the personal bits. I thought I would do some personal bits for you since I've seen so many of yours, but that you would necessarily even be interested. But here it goes. In with the jet engine folder, I put in one of my old band flyer things. I'm the second guy in from the left. Also in there is one of the of our CDs. It was our one and only attempt. It would not be the best thing you ever heard. I was not the star of the band. That would be Greg, who is the first guy on the left. He was the lead singer and guitar player. It just keeps going and going because, you know, we just had like a long running conversation just talking about jet engines and everything. But, um, let's see. Oh, yeah. A little motor. Hey, I can use that. Polaroid Corporation. Oh, yeah, look at that. Oh yeah, that's that image transfer he made. That's actually pretty cool. It's on a piece of paper. Color guides to instant images. Instruction to mini ramjet engine.
jets. Oh, the Damon. Build this powerful turbojet engine in an ordinary home shop. Look at that. That's kind of cool. Okay. <laughs> so that's Scarecrow, Turkey Hill. That's that's Bill's old uh, album. 1997. Look at that. And now if you guys want to see Bill when he was younger, that's him now. You, you guys are familiar with him. But, um, oh, that's <laughs> proof that he watches my videos. <laughs> He's a dorky guy. But that is him in the 90s. That's kind of funny. I haven't listened to this yet, but truth be told, he's not really much of my my kind of music, but maybe I'll upload it. Yeah, maybe you guys can listen to it. Let's see what you think. There's one of their flyers. Evidently they were like sort it was like their job for a while. Blues based rock and roll. Like lyrics and stuff like that. Just random stuff. Saturday Evening Post. Trial by water. It's kind of cool. I might read these and then pass them on to someone else to the antique shop. Could probably be a good way to, to, to do something with that. If not, I can I can find a good place in um, I can find a good place in my library for it when I eventually build that out. So out of all the stuff, what is oh, like? It's a lot of very nice stuff, and it, it's this is all stuff that really appeals to me in like a very broad way. Yeah, uh, unfortunately, I've been having some uh, water ingress issues in the, the workshop, and so humidity came in and started rusting up my my lathe, but oh well. So most of the stuff, I bought some plastic bins, so I'm going to put them in the plastic bins to make sure they don't get humid, you know, because I don't want any of this stuff to get ruined. A lot of this stuff's useful. These books... I most likely won't read them because I already kind of, well, unless I really want to know about transistors, but those will go in the library. Now this, Letters from a Stoic, that's definitely something to read. So like this will be useful. Just have to figure out what I'll use it for. Yeah. And laser discs are just downright fun. Come on. Too much stuff. Laser discs and, and all the other little fiddly bits that are more um, like the books and stuff, those will go inside because I'll find a spot for them. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and thank you very much for watching and thank you very much for all the gifts. See ya. I like this. I like this. I like all of it. It's all really good.